Alrighty guys, you are back on the Gentry Boys YouTube channel. Uh, so what we're doing today is we got this head right here. Uh, and you seen it on my last video. I painted this thing. I did a pretty good job. I think I did. I think I did a really good job. Looks all right. Uh, the worst part about it is right here. I mean, there's a little bit of overspray, but that don't really matter. But I mean, everything else, this thing looks great. It looks really good. So we got head bolts, brand new head bolts. Anytime you change a head, you might want to get new head bolts because those head bolts can stretch and this and that. But this motor looks brand new. We took the head off uh, because the valves were leaking and this and that and uh, kind of greased it up a little bit, put some oil in there, turned the over, uh, motor over a little bit so we didn't, you know, be all lubed up and everything. And... <clears throat> These valves, literally every single one of these are leaking. You can see it right there, it's leaking. All these valves are leaking. Every single one of them. So, what you do with these things is, it wasn't the smartest idea I've had, but filled it up with water yesterday, and I kind of left it here because I ended up doing something else. But... Filled it up, left it in here overnight. It was not a really smart idea, but it happened. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we did to that, uh, that 341, <clears throat> that uh, F-150 that was over here. We're gonna take some uh, valve grinding compound. Mm, we'll see here, I don't really know where it's at. I'll find it in a minute. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that, get a drill right here. We're gonna get this sucker and we're gonna put the valve in there and tighten it up and then we're gonna grind it or seat the valves i'll get these things sealed and we got new gaskets for this thing and everything literally every bull ring anything got the whole head gasket kit got new head bolts uh we got literally everything you'll need Alrighty guys, so that head, uh, we took the valves out and everything, looked at it, and they're just saying no reseating these valves. There's no way you're going to do it. So, Dad's loading up the head right now to go, well, and Steve's going to drop it off to get it worked on. Alright, pull that up. We're pushing it Alrighty guys, so another thing we're gonna do, uh, since that head has been taken off and sent off and everything, so we cannot put this thing back together. The Detroit, so we have a cat that we we're putting in a Peterbilt and everything. And what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna do a little before and after. So after I get done with it, we're gonna do a little before and after, because I don't know, I like before and afters. But I'm gonna take all this accessory stuff off I'm going to take all the thermostats and everything off. I'm going to take the oil cooler off or the water cooler, whatever you call it. Take this off. I'm taking the exhaust and turbo off. I'm going to take the computer and all the fuel stuff off. Everything off. I'm pressure wash it, sand it down, and I'm going to make it look like this beauty. Obviously in a cat color. I'm going to get all this rust off of it and make it look brand new. So this thing get ready to be put back in and everything. All right, guys, look at that. That right there is gross. You see that? I don't even know what the heck that is. Look at that. That is disgusting. Whatever that is, that is disgusting. That came out of thermostat. Ooh, gross. Now we can take this turbo off or the whole exhaust. You, know, you can do it at once. You take the, the feed line and the return line and take them off, and you can just take the all the bol exhaust bolts off. And take it off 
the whole thing at once instead of uh, taking these four bolts out. Sometimes they can be hard to get to. If you don't have the right tool, but if you're doing this, you might as well just take the whole thing off at once. It'll be easier. You chew it on. You chew on a box. <laughs> I'm turd. Alrighty, guys. We got one side completely out. This is actually very simple. If things put together by like three bolts, you literally take it all off at once. I'm gonna leave the water pump on there. This ain't really in the way, but I'll be pressure washing this, like kind of sanding it down for, you know, getting it fairly clean. Very clean. Definitely gonna get new exhaust gaskets and everything. And I'm just gonna pressure wash the heck out of it. Uh, definitely gonna have to replace that line from when the chain was on it. Ain't really nothing we could honestly do about that. And now we're going to take apart this side. Should be pretty simple. I mean, just take, what, that is three bolts. What, four bolts. So four, seven, eight, nine. I mean, that's, that's about it, honestly. It's going to be pretty easy. Alrighty, now what I'm going to need to do is get some tape, or I'll get some rags and just put it in there. And I'm going to pressure wash the heck out of this thing. And they're all cleaned up and sexy and looking good. Yeah. I think. Gotta get some gas for this old baby. This thing's about 100 years old. Yeah, she's bone dry. I'm about to go get some gas for her. And we're going to pressure wash the heck out of this thing. Alrighty, guys, we have got this thing painted. Uh, it has been sitting in here for like a day or two because I have had a cold. It's got uh, it's a little dirt on it and everything. But other than that, I got to kind of go over it again. But I'm telling you, this thing is great. It looks amazing. I'm going to end up painting this black. So I don't really matter if I over, uh, have some overspray on that because I'm going to put like a uh, some tin full or whatever behind here and then i'm just going to spray paint this all black i'm gonna leave this all yellow every bit of this yellow i know painting these black or yeah um i was thinking either black or chrome i don't really know yet i don't really know if they have chrome paint or whatever but i'm gonna talk to me about it see what he wants to do and i'm gonna take these off i did kind of spray uh paint them right here but eh i'm probably gonna take them off and paint them maybe i get more of a good color or whatever Painted all this stuff. Looks great. Painted the water pump. Painted this black. What do you guys think about that? I thought about painting this black and that black, but I don't want to make too much black. Really thinking about that and this. Uh, I took off all the accessory, like this stuff. I painted it black. Look at that sucker. Painted that black. Painted this sucker black. Yeah. Painted the compressor black. Yeah. This thing right here is going good. And painted all this black. I need to put another layer on it. Actually, I need to clean it off first. This is for a minute. Put another layer on this. That's going to be black. Literally, all the accessory and components or whatever are going to be black, and the motor is going to be yellow. That's what I'm kind of thinking in my head. That's what I did to the this motor over here for the secret motor. This is what I did for the secret motor. And this thing is just freaking amazing. Like, it is spotless. I'm telling you, I did a really good job on this thing. And I'm actually really proud of myself. But this is a secret motor that Timmy told me to paint. And I'm pretty excited about it. Hope y'all are too. And this is the cat motor I'm painting. And I got it mostly done. I need some more yellow paint. I was thinking about painting the whole pan black, but I really don't know. You guys should leave a comment and kind of give me a little gist. What should I do? What should I paint black? Because, I mean, I could always paint over the yellow. It's not that big of a deal. It's like this. I'm going to paint this yellow because, or I'm going to paint this black. Because, I mean, I didn't really feel like taking it off. I was kind of lazy, to be honest. But definitely been painting that black. Like, give me, give, give me a little uh, advice. What do you think I should think I should paint black or yellow? What do you think? Huh? Like, I'm definitely leaving these black. And I might paint that black. And I'm definitely leaving these black. Because, you know, it kind of mixes it up. Brings it out a little bit more. And looks a lot better. In my opinion. 
So leave a comment, guys, what you guys think, and kind of give me some hints and everything. What do you guys think about it? Give me your opinion. And I really, really want your guys' opinion on this, this little 60 series. I really want your opinion on this thing. This thing is ridiculously awesome. I'll throw some pictures in there and let you guys kind of judge off a picture. Right now, it's kind of dirty because it's been sitting outside for about two days. Ugh. But it is wrapped up and everything, but, you know, dirt and everything gets on it. I'm going to show you a picture of when it first got done. And you guys give me your opinion on this thing. And please give me some ideas on this motor right here. What do you think I should paint black? You know, it'd be cool if I could take this off and then, you know, put some black paint on that. Like the two hooks. You know, just like, so it ain't just too much yellow, you know? Like, mix it up a little bit. Give me your guys' opinion. Uh, so what we're doing today is Kenny came in and he said he changed one of the oil filters because it was leaking. So he thought maybe it wasn't tight enough or something, but he got two new oil filters and he put the two new oil filters on it. They were tight when I took it off, so it's definitely not because it's not tight enough. And he said when he was greasing the, uh, he had the greens like the housing where the oil filter goes into or the little oil ring on the oil filter. Because like you always got to grease the uh, oil ring around the filters or whatever so they don't dry rod or whatever so and then he felt like a little ditch and so hopefully we can smoothen it out to get the seal to seal or we're gonna have to get a whole new like the little piece that whole thing that whole thing hopefully that's not the case another thing i've seen is right here yeah my camera's a little dirty but there's a exhaust leak so see it's coming out of there What's off sleek? Alrighty guys, we might have found the problem. I don't really know for sure, but uh, when you bolt in an oil filter, that little nut that comes in, it comes out. All right, so what we're thinking is wrong with it is that the oil is leaking down through the threads and then going on the outside of the oil filter and just coming out the seal. But I don't really understand how it would do that. But I guess it's supposed to be an oil ring. I don't even know, to be honest. I've never had an issue like this. But we put some Loctite around the threads, and hopefully that will fix it. I really hope so. But I, I'm not really for sure, honestly. Uh, I don't know. But we're going to try this. If it don't work, then it's got to be something else. But there's nothing really... I don't understand it, honestly. But we're going to throw this thing in and get her done. Alrighty guys, now that we're waiting for that uh, locked stuff to dry, we have put some brand new calibers and brakes on this, uh, on Cody's truck. It needed them pretty bad. They were both bad. Got new brakes, got new rotors, and I don't know, this thing was pretty rough. Let me look at this thing. Look at how rusted that is. There's pretty gross. Oh, yeah. We'll get our new ones on it. We got some new brake fluid, too. We got the premium stuff. Well, we'll probably need a little bit more, to be honest. But we got some premium brake fluid, so we'll definitely be able to stop. And we're going to let her down. Take her for a little test drive. Ooh, you hear that? She's squeaking. Squeaked. Yeah. Go, she runs pretty good, Dan Dan. Yes, she does. Alrighty, we set this thing here for about 30 minutes. Uh, we're gonna see if she's not blinking yet. Maybe it has, maybe it has it.
you now we have finished the old leak on kenny's truck it ain't leaking no more so that is a really big plus uh the blow by is kind of leaking a little bit but you know there ain't really nothing you can do about a blow by what you could do is you get a longer hose and put it closer to the ground so you don't have to worry about it getting all over your truck but i don't know if he's going to do that he's probably just going to drive it the old leak's not that bad anyway but what we're going to be doing is we're going to drop the trailer on this uh Cornado over here it's got a headlight out and it needs oil change so i'm gonna drop this trailer and I'm gonna go park it over there and we're gonna change the oil in it. They're right down. Look at him over there hanging out. Ain't that right, buddy? I love how he babies that thing. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video. We've got the Coronado over here, and we have changed oil in it. Well, we took got oil filters and oil drained out of it. All we need to do now is just get some oil and oil filters to put back on it. Uh, while it's fixed the lights, and this thing is basically ready to go. Uh, honestly, my opinion, I think this is the best truck we got. I mean, this thing runs great. We haven't really, we don't have any major issues with it. It's just a good running truck overall. It's a pretty good truck. I like this truck. Alrighty, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up this little Mercedes right here. We're gonna put some tan rod in it. We're gonna blow this sucker up. What do you guys think? You guys think it'll blow up sky high in the air or something? You guys want? It was gonna blow up a little cab, but I guess Timmy decided he was gonna blow this thing up. But we're gonna blow this thing up right here. And we're gonna get her done. big little hole in my opinion that is awesome all right guys that'll be it for this video it's a little bit muddy Woo! she's getting cake of mud but that'll be it for this video thank you guys all for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one